Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Cadet Set, First Lieutenant Tian Weeks, Italian S2 Enrollment Officer. On behalf of President Major General Paul Lima, his wife Maria, the staff, faculty, board of trustees, and the 138th student body, as well as the Corps of Cadets, welcome you all to St. John's Northwestern Academy's Spring Families Weekend Field of Flag Ceremony. This evening's ceremony includes the raising of the national colors and honors to our nation. While the Corps of Cadets and students move into place, I will give you a brief history and description of the Field of Flags. The Field of Flags sits on what was once known as the New Boy Drill Field. The inaugural flag raising and dedication of this field took place in the fall of 2008. This field was made possible by gifts to St. John's Northwestern Military Academy from cadets, alumni, friends, and families, as well as corporate sponsors. Each flag was made possible by a donation of $1,884. Each one of these donations was matched dollar for dollar by the Stanglin Foundation. The results of these generous and special gifts sit before you today. At the base of each flag, the names of the benefactors are engraved into the bricks which line the field. There are 156 flags located on the field. The original plans for the field called for the placement of 20, 125 flags, and support for the project was so great that the number was increased to 156. The field is fully lighted, which allows the flags to remain flying past dusk each night. Also buried at the entrance of the field is a time capsule. Its location is denoted by a marker. This time capsule was placed there by the 126 Corps cadets. It is to be unearthed 38 years from now by the 176 Corps of Cadets. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you direct your attention to the gates on the field. The gate on the left is Senior Gate. Senior Gate was first used during the 125th Corps Commencement Ceremony. On graduation day, that gate is unlocked, and members of the senior class march through it to start the graduation exercise. Only seniors are allowed to march through this gate. The gate to the right, however, is the Alumni Gate. The Alumni Gate was first used during the 126th Corps of Cadets Commencement Ceremony. This gate was opened on Commencement Weekend as well. Only alumni are allowed to march through this gate. During the last parade of the year, the alumni march through where they greet their soon-to-be alumni brothers and sisters. At the conclusion of the commencement, the new graduates march through it to signify their departure from childhood and the beginning of their adult lives. These gates are locked and are only open on commencement weekend. Our students of the 138th class have moved into their place and now await orders from today's Commander of Troops, Cadet Captain Pablo Lopez Cordova. The President of the Academy, Major General Paul Lima, is taking his place in the field for today's ceremony with the official party. With the flags already pre-staged and in place, the students will prepare them and stand by for direction of the president and the cadet battalion commander to raise the flags. The president has given the commander the authority to raise the field of flags. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand as we pay honor to our nation. Once the flags are raised, please stand standing for the playing of the national anthem. We invite those in civilian attire to join us in rendering honors by placing their hand over their heart. All gentlemen should remove their hats. Veterans are reminded that the Congressional Amendment in the National Defense Authorization Act authorizes members of the armed forces and veterans who are present but not in uniform to render the military salute to the American flag. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of the United States of America, the Star Spangled Banner. Again, we invite those in civilian attire to join us in rendering honors by placing their hand over their heart. All gentlemen should remove their hats. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This concludes today's Field of Flag ceremony. Students are authorized to depart on overnight permits once signed out with their RFO. We ask that all students return to campus tomorrow morning by no later than 9 a.m. Thank you again for attending and hope you enjoy St. John's Northwestern Academy Spring Families Weekend.